Welcome, yeah, let's see it from Tykes TV. <clears throat> uh, as you know, that Barnes FC did a content invite for various media outlets, and I know that you've already seen the video I did a compilation of Barnes players. I hope you liked and enjoyed that. I also had the honor of meeting the Barnes FC official podcast. The link in descriptions in my d description, the clickable links, uh, takes you onto Apple, Spotify, click on audio, boom, takes you straight there. Uh, we're going to be, a, a, you know, a roll out of different uh, interviews with players that uh, what Chris and Pete from Barnes FC official podcast have done. Uh, here's my interview uh, with the guys, just a, a short clip, a bit of an introduction. Again, please like, subscribe and share. Please also check out the official Bars of C podcast. It's in the description, in the links. Hope you enjoy uh, the short video clip after. Uh, a bit of insight into the people behind the scenes kind of thing. So you all know. One thing left to say, you reds. So, Bounds Football Club. Dropped on two guys here. Bounds FC official podcast. That's us, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? And uh, how's today been with you, Bounds official podcast, Chris? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, we're really enjoying it, really. So, we're not as professional as you or as good as you, oh. Neil. <laughs> you know, we're, we're learning from people like you. Um, and I've been on your, your Tykes TV a few times, which I always enjoy. And we always... Two hours goes by and then uh, I'm getting messages of why you're still talking to Neil. <laughs> Just like, but no, um, really enjoying it and, and a real privilege to have been asked to do it by the club. I've done a few podcasts now, I think quite experienced with it. Um, I kind of know what might work and what, what don't work and try, try to listen to fans all we can. Um, so I got asked to come on and then I guess it was a case of finding somebody who I got on with, um, who I thought were funny, um, aesthetically pleasing, but... Um, <coughs> there weren't much on offer, <laughs> so I ended up with Pete Selwood. Aesthetically pleasing for an audio based podcast. Well, I know, but you're all good for <laughs> photographs yeah, and stuff. So, yeah, this I'm is Pete. And Pete Selwood, uh, great to have you, great to see you. I've also seen you at the White Bear as well when you're uh, the official po launch, yes, wasn't it, down the there? The official yeah. podcast launch that we're at Barnes Alive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, I think next year we're going to do a proper, like, our show, yeah. aren't we, with, with guests well, and stuff like that. Pete's often on stage, aren't you, Pete? So Pete's... Yeah, so my, Pete, so my day job, do. yeah, I'm, I'm a comedian, that's my job. Um, people, it's people, yeah, that. it's weird, because then people go like, oh, I've never heard of you, and you're like, well, you know, you can be a singer. There's and a thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can be a singer and not be like Ed Sheeran, and it'd still be your... But you've been on BBC. How you earn. Yeah, I've, I've, and you've been with I've done a few bits. You've done some bits with Jack Carroll. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been on the telly, mate. I've got, I've got some acting jobs. It doesn't matter, you know, we're all doing well. We're all doing um, well. Yeah. We, we go on Tax TV. You go on BBC. It's yeah, fine. You know. BBC, not to be not to be confused with BBS. BBS. <laughs> Although we've done all right on BBS. What? what BBS? So like, um, just explain what BBS is. What is BBS? It's like, it's like, it's like an online forum, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the club post something, a, 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 a threads basically created. Okay. Off back of that. Right. And some people are quite critical on BBS. Okay. But nobody's criticised oh, really? us. People have been nice. Yeah, and, and judging mean, they're probably and nice and also asking for the new home shirt. That seems to be the big thing. And, and, and judging the home shirt, yeah, yeah. <laughs> new, new podcast. It were about basically a new player else, yeah. or new new shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but not we've done all right in terms of listens and stuff. Like we've had lots of reviews on on Apple Podcasts, which we're on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on Spotify, which is pretty cool. Uh, and the club put it out through Audio Boom, so there's a direct link on the club's on website. website yeah. But yeah, thousands of listeners so far, um, and I think 17 different countries. So pretty cool. Are you going to be taking any online courses then for some in different countries or is that a no-no then? What do you mean Neil? What, what? <laughs> to be able to listen to it in different oh, languages right, or is it? Right. <laughs> I think when we get to that stage... Football's a universal language. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like love. Everybody know, can yeah. speak football and love. I assume <laughs> it's people who are from Barnsley who have moved to different yeah. countries. It must, it yeah, must and that's be. nice because you know yeah. we're talking about as, as fans and I, there's nobody bigger fan than me and Pete was, you know, I think all Barnsley fans, you're either a Barnsley fan or you're not. Like mm. All Barnsley fans are into Barnsley, aren't they? I don't watch yeah. any other football, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Barnsley is it. Mm. Um, so I think pr to provide that that listen for 45 minutes of our pure nonsense is, is quite is quite nice, really. I wouldn't take it too serious, do we? Well, I don't think we can. I think I think there's quite a lot of, there's obviously so many different podcasts that obviously, because we're, we're the official one, 
got, you know, we're not going to be as, um, we can't be as unbelievably critical. No. Because that's just how, you know, you know, because we get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you but, know. you know, but it's more like a, a we want to create a connection because I think, like, sometimes, yeah. I think the, the community is the club, the town is mm. the club, and I think you've got to create that kind of connection and maybe just let other people do the serious bits and we'll do more general conversation with players but try and also learn a bit more I guess yeah so we've chatted to the majority of players today as mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm sure you have as well we've really enjoyed it and it's just about again bringing bringing the club closer to the community um, you know and, and we're not we do enjoy it we love doing it don't we well yeah I mean we like, love doing it otherwise you know we, we won't, do, won't do it but you know I, I think we do it for the right reasons like we love yeah. the club and want it to just be a little bit closer to everybody it's everybody's club isn't it so it's everyone wins out of it yeah if the club's doing well the town does well and that does well and yeah. vice versa you know and we're all buzzing we're all yeah. happy I think like be, being f- the official Bounds FC podcast I know I've got on Tykes TV uh, people in Australia Dave and Sal they're expats so I get where you're coming from with that and yeah, I think it's right. good that, that you know people have moved abroad for different circumstances whatever it may be do you but we stay close, but we stay close yeah but because like you said once red always red don't we um, how often is Bounds FC official podcast is it going to be every month or once a month We're twice a month fortnight aren't we that's, that's doing a bit of plan it's been I a little bit so, hard yeah. because obviously I don't know if anybody's noticed but staff have been quite busy <laughs> like, <laughs> we've had a new manager a new assistant manager four new signings there's been new contracts signed there's been a lot on there's been pre-season friendlies so I think once we get into the swing of it as season goes along, yeah, probably looking at once every fortnight, once every fortnight and, and, and you know anybody can knock loads of podcasts up and just put loads out. But I think it's more we don't want the level of quality to drop. Well, I think it's because because we're going to be getting more like guests who are connected to the yeah, club. Mm. There's all it's that logistics and stuff. But I think I think for me it'd be it'd be a nice thing for people to listen to say on the way to an away game or something yeah. like that that's that's the way i see or it. a dog walk so i i put my bluetooth yeah. headphones on when i take dog out on an evening to switch off from work yeah. i put a podcast on do, do you know what i mean yeah. uh, so, uh, so i like i like, oh, I like using it in car yeah or even when you do it on garden the way to the natural, you know all like that it's better than know. praise or grum- well yeah. i only listen to praise or grumble yeah. if wednesday's lost that's so the only time it's we ever turn it on. It's easy, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. easy listening. It's easy yeah. listening. I think it's a good thing as well because uh, obviously Tax TV, a YouTube channel. When I've been driving up, and you'll know this, Chris, as well. I've told you, I've been listening to Bounds FC podcast in car, yeah. and you know, not everybody's like av- available to um, watch YouTube. Yeah. But what you can also do is access it on all platforms that you're yeah, saying. You know, so it's that's easy accessible. That's the beauty of it. Everybody's pretty much everybody's got an iPhone or a smartphone, haven't they? Yeah. So, we're, like I said, we're on Apple Podcasts. So, if you've got an, an Apple Podcast, get on there, subscribe, give, give us five stars. I think we've had, we're all five stars at the minute, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Then we'll get some good reviews on there. Yeah, and I if you don't like it, keep to yourself. Yeah. Um. If you don't <laughs> like it, don't listen again. <laughs> it's not, I, th- I think, you know, plug your phone straight in, or whack yeah. it straight on Spotify or Apple. That's that's the beauty, isn't it? Mm. Beauty of technology in this day and age, yeah, just yeah, easy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you get on there on a Friday, don't we? And just people just tune into it. and, and, and they're in, they're in their underpants at home watching it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? That's a, easy. that's a scary thought, that, isn't it? But uh, I think next time I'm going to be doing another uh, live, I've got a bit of back picture in my mind. Friday, without, uh, you know. Friday, you'll do another live, that'd be nice. So, yeah, next Friday. Um, so, again, and it, I, ca- I kind of get where you come from as well. Although it's been busy at club, you want the content to be right and you don't want quality. it to be quality. That's what it is. And I've been a laugh at a banter because it's all been doom and gloom in this world. But if we've got to have a bit of a laugh and a joke now and again, haven't we, surely? Goodness. I think anybody who knows me and Pete personally will know mm. that we don't take anything serious anyway. Yeah. And we're both quite positive people. Like, because what's, what's the other way? It's all going to happen anyway. Yeah. So we can either be miserable about it or we can just, like, roll with punches yeah. and laugh about it. I don't know. Well, that's the thing. I think also, like, you know, it's been a bad time of it. Now it's almost a reset. I nearly said, I nearly said, let's draw a line under it, but that makes you sound like Boris Johnson. Um, <laughs> and nobody wants that. <laughs> yeah, no one wants that. Like, I think I've just spoke about like now it's new season. Just create like I think it's the atmosphere. It's creating a connection with people again. Yeah, I think we lost it towards the end one. of last season. Oh it god, lost yeah. it, we, we lost it a bit, and then like I remember that. Do you know that Blackpool game mm. when we lost two 0 I remember mm. sat in the stand, sitting in the stands, thinking, "Why am I here? Yeah. There's Real mm. Madrid, Man City on at home yeah. in my comfy, warm house." Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah it's mu- becomes yeah. much more easy to be a Barnsley fan, doesn't it? When when results are going well, but that when the results aren't going well it's about well, what else are we what what is our identity as, as a football club and we what, need to have a connection oh, with the hold town, on a minute right, yeah. th- there's a podcast that's yeah. quite good 
all the time. Tax TV is on regardless of result. Mm. I watch that. I have a cup of tea. Watch that. Mm. Town's so close. There's like more. There's more. There's e- more to the just just than the football. Oh God, I might I might go for a pint or again a snooker with, with Neil or mm. me, me me other mate or you, you know. But you we always we always keep pushing like people always say football is about results and I couldn't disagree more in the fact that like I don't for me football isn't about football is about going today. It's the activity of it. It's meeting my friends beforehand that I haven't seen Chatting all week. About it. We have a chat. How are you doing? What's going on with your life? We'll have a couple of drinks. Then we'll go to the football. So football is almost like a byproduct yes. mm-hmm. of just camaraderie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this whole idea, it's all about what happened on the pitch. I disagree with that. I think it's about that connection and yeah. doing stuff together. It's really. the biggest thing I've got in common with my dad. Mm-hmm. Me and my dad ain't got yeah. loads in common. Mm-hmm. But you know, since we lost my mum and that, me and my dad have grown closer. Mm-hmm. And bands is a massive part of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's the thing, you know, we we do very different jobs. We're both from very different times. We live in, in different villages, we don't see each other too yeah. often, but we always see each other at Barnsley, yeah. home and away. We've always got yeah. so much to talk about. <laughs> and if we do lose, what does misery love? Company. Company. <laughs> Company. And I think that's what us as Barnsley fans can all relate, kinda of relate to, is in that although we're like honest hard working people, you you can kinda of appreciate what it means to the community as well, can't you? Because yeah. if clubs doing well you see that buzz in town centre with family and stuff like that, so it's That's positive economy. vibes, isn't it? Yeah, it affects the economy. It affects economy directly, yeah. directly. Like towards the end of the season, like when it was even getting hotter on Saturdays, the bars weren't full. Mm. Now, if we're winning and doing well, mm. the bars are full. The bars are full before it. The bars are full afterwards. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Also, they're doing quite a lot with like families where you can bring, like you know, there's more there's more places that you could bring your kid. Mm. Rather than just going to pub, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's a major part of it. But that y- you look at what they've done, you know, this summer alone, they've they've struck partnerships with the food bank, mm. they've struck partnerships with other agencies regarding keeping town green. So yeah. they've gone out picking litter. They've gone, mm. you know, they've they, they've done that. Mm. Um, we've had players going to food banks as well. Yeah. Um, it, it's been, you know, we've had we've had fans playing on pitch. Mm. We're legends. Um, they've had uh, fans having tours at ground. Yeah. Um, I think I just think they've, they've put the clubs put a lot in this summer mm. to bring that relationship back, um, and I, and I think as m- as much as we all love three points, I think sometimes it's you can lose but not lose that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't throw everything under the bus because the results gone wrong. Hopefully we'll we'll get both. We'll get both. We'll win and we'll get that. Yeah, you know, yeah. we all want that. I think th- this season as well. I think you know we all suffered disappointment last season and again relegated. But moving forward. I think the behind the scenes people that have been working behind club as well have you know really pushing both out like I said stadium to us sell arts mm. you know even though we've had a disappointing season there's people still wanting yeah. front community I still want to be part of Barnsley and yeah. b- 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 this is for me a positive thing moving forward the things what's happening behind the scenes we're going to be happening on pitch all being well with you know with some of the recruitments you can start to see what it's going to be sad to me for town itself yeah. don't you absolutely yeah there's been a lot of good decisions haven't there? and even even when you bring it back to the football side of it like obviously a new assistant manager announced yesterday like what an appointment like, yeah, he's yeah, played football at a good level he's played throughout divisions in, in the uk like it's pretty cool it's very exciting time to be a Barnsley fan I think. Yeah, I think so. like on and off pitch well generally i quite enjoy a league one campaign yeah. We generally do all right. <laughs> and we all enjoy winning football yeah, games yeah, yeah, and visiting yeah. new grounds. So mm. like I'm looking forward to like might knocking off a few new grounds. This yeah. might this it might sound negative but it's not, but like after the end of last season me and my friend said like you know, you obviously you're really gutted that you've gone down and you're annoyed and angry, but then but then after a few weeks we we sat down and was like, But what's actually changed? Apart from it won't change like when we talk, when we say, right, who's going to match tomorrow? No. It won't change where I sit. No. It won't change. Won't change like, what yeah, colour? It won't change where I park my car. Mm. It won't no. change anything like that. No. It won't change how many away games I go to. No. You know what I mean? It'll still be the same, mm. except this time we might win some. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's <laughs> buzzing. I'm excited. Are you going to come to some away games? I am actually. I'm going to come to some away games. So it's, that's going to be an adventure and it's sending it with, with, with Chris. But I'm looking forward to it, to be fair. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we've worked commitments before and being able to manage it. But this season, I'm, I'm working round back. Like, so it's buzzing your music, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, always, there's always a story behind a song. So going forward, you know, I mean, it's today, I mean, we've had a talking with players, you know, and I don't know about your guys, but when I've been talking to them uh, for Tykes TV, Every player, they can't wait for season to start. They they want to pre. They just want to be get their feet on the ground and start running, which for me is a positive. You know, whereas last season, disappointment last season. Let's let's crack on with this season now, and 
Oh, I'm wondering what was all being well. Yeah, it was like a clean slate, wasn't it? People are really buzzing, excited to be back. I think yeah. new, new faces coming in, I think that always helps freshen things up a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think you can either learn from it, yeah, or you know, or you can just dwell on it. And I think everyone's got the mentality of, yeah, you know, maybe there's a point to prove for a few of us, you know what I mean? Point, point to prove, to prove for there's a few people who've come in who've, you know, are eager to hit the ground running, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it sounds good, and I think, like I say, when we were talking to the uh, the lad, the actual lads from town as well, uh, it makes a huge difference, I think. Yeah. To have that, we haven't had that connection to a player on the pitch in a while, as we have to. They're good boys mm. as well. Yeah, they're, n- they're mm. nice lads as well. Like, mm. and I think. What about Marsh? Yeah. Even yeah. when, even when things Marshall's are going bad, even yeah. when things are going badly, if there's a local lad doing well, mm. yeah. you, you can get away with it a bit more. And I mean, us, as for us, there's been new signings at Barnsley FC. You know, we'll be yeah. proud to wear the shirt. Ab- about time. <laughs> About time, you know, we both talked for a long time, you know, we're, we're, both, trials, both into us, we're both into us 30s, you know, and, and to finally sign that contract is Barnsley's official podcast, I mean, it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? If I were playing for really? manager, I'm at an age where I wouldn't sign me, there's no selling now, <laughs> there's no selling. So now we're looking forward to getting uh, started, you know, season, looking forward to working on the media team, you know, ramming, you know, their, their instructions into us and... <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there going to be any sneaky peeks? Are we going to be expecting some kind of legends coming on? Because you had like uh, Bruce and uh, his son yeah, on for Father's so Day special. Are we going to be getting all like that in uh, in future? Yeah, so Pete's not uh, um, Pete's not aware of the list. I've kind of drawn up in my head yet because it's in right. my head. It's not spoiler alert. He's, yeah. not, he, <laughs> he's not anywhere else in my head. But um, yeah, there's I think there's going to be there's going to be a range of guests, not just um, I think we'll, alumni yeah. players. Alumni, Neil, not legends. Alumni players, not just alumni players, but more uh, some some current staff, current players. Really, but we're also looking at getting staff, staff, yeah, more staff members. Like yeah, th- more interesting. Like I'd love to get Vicky Stevens on, for example. Yeah, that'd be yeah. it's a different just side, a, just a different role, side of a club that you never necessarily see. I interesting, guess. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, um, and I think she should be a really interesting guest to have because she's got lots of stories. She's been at club a while, mm-hmm. and it comes from it from an absolute different perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but also but different fan groups as well would be good. To yeah, be like we've discussed. Yeah, and, and different staff just at club in general. Anybody wants to chat to us really? So any players, anybody that really, I think we want them to want to chat to us. Don't if you, if you're it's a much fan, easier. And you think you'd be good on it if you're a minor celebrity in the area. Yeah, we'll probably get. Will that be classes? Will that be classes? That then? Yeah, mate. You we'll probably, get, we'll probably get some actors on. I'm sure. Yeah, Sean Dooley would be cool. Area, we'll try and we'll 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 Pete's met with Joel Ice. He might come on. I'm not sure he's a bad. I cannot. I, I do not think he'll fancy this. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Um, I, I bet he looks good in red. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure he looks fabulous <laughs> in anything. To be honest with you. Yeah. I think on uh, on a fan's kind of uh, view, what you've just said there. Again, people not just necessarily footballers, but behind the scenes kind of thing. Like you said, Vicky Stevens and stuff like that. Fitness coaches. Be interesting that insight into how does a, a, a treatment or a play carry on and how long yeah. take The processes as well, what we don't privy to kind of thing. Absolutely, because we forget it's not just that 90 minutes on pitch. Yeah. There's so much sacrifice goes into getting to that stage. Mm. So I want to chat to these people that are sacrificing... The yeah. well, the, the, yeah. they spend it, some of them have spent the majority of their professional career here, so yeah. they've got A, got some great stories, yeah. but B, give a lot of time and a lot of effort, mm. and no doubt sacrifice family time for travelling, mm. yeah. family time for being here longer. Mm. They need a little bit of love and a bit, you know, and, and I no doubt they'll be, they'll make some of the best guests. I think it's all, it's all playing staff generally that you hear from, even in like the later, even in like the top media, you hear from ex players and stuff like that, but like, you know, for, for example, like people quite like listening to Simon Jordan, so yeah. you've got a completely different viewpoint that sits different to a player because if you're an owner you've got a completely yeah. different thing to what a player would be so I think if hopefully if we can get a few staff members like that on and the idea is really something for everybody yeah a little bit of something for everybody so some people might all be interested in yeah. that player so some mm. people might have tuned in last episode for Josiah but yeah. some will have tuned in for Bruce do you know what I mean yeah. I, I think mean there might be some weeks where if we're playing a particular team and we'll just get like a comedian who sports that team on do you yeah. know what I mean like we can you we're know. free yeah, I, li- I like that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I like that kind of concept there. What you said, it's like a bit of something for everyone. You know what I mean. So I think that's a good point to wrap it up on. That is that a podcast, uh, you know, for someone for everybody, not necessarily players, but for people in the background. So I think, uh, yeah, I think that's a good point to just wrap it up on that. No, a podcast, some form for everybody. Barnes FC podcast. Oh, so is Neil. Thank you very much, mate. Lovely to, lovely no to chat. Yeah. Great to see you. All right. Cool. Sorted. Cool.